Museum of Nature and Science. Oh, no. And Molly's here too. Molly, Molly. We haven't what, what? seen Molly in so long. But look, we already went to the gate and told the real mummy. Yeah, the real mummy. We've been here to see the mummies, but today we're here to see the, the art of the of brick. The brick. So let's go see some Legos. Sign it up. You can do a space one, a dinosaur, a mummy. I want a mummy. A prehistoric animal. Wally, which one are you gonna do? One, one minute I want a mummy. Yeah, get that mummy. All right, show the Let's camera, see, buddy. Let's see. Let's see it. There's the mummy. There's the mummy. And we are here on a Friday afternoon, and you can see it's really pretty quiet here at the museum. Let's go check out the art of the brick. All right, so we've got about 20 minutes before we can go to the art of the brick. Let's go check out the wildlife. Once again, Wally has gotten free. He's our wildlife, as you know. What are, th oh, it's a bugle and elk. That is a big boy. And you gotta keep an eye out here at the museum. There's Legos everywhere. They've invaded the museum. Remember when we see these guys going up in the Rocky Mountain National Park? I like the name of this one, Piece by Pieces. Creative. Wally's brain. Is that what your brain looks like, Wally? Yeah. The Lego people are crawling out of your brain? And what's really cool, he has Lego art as well. That's not paintings along the wall. Those are Legos. So what's really cool is all the signs tell you the scale. So this is a one-to-one -one scale. This is exactly two scale of the piece of artwork. Whereas this one is a one-to-three scale of Nike. It's neat as he even took the time to pick up on the crack in the Sistine Chapel. All made of bricks. So I want to show this one from the side. It's got stacked bricks to create depth in the art. Look at that.
just like an artist would layer on their paint. This one half scale David is not anatomically correct compared to the real statue. Wonder if they couldn't position the bricks like that. Wally, what is he missing? His hands. Aww. Where's his hands? Oh, they're in pieces, huh? My favorite thing to do with Legos is how many bricks? This one's 110,730. And you can see why. Awesome lighting in here to go with this. Dinosaur. That's some dino. That's some dino. Here's the guy that's ripping his chest open. Probably his best known piece. As grown ups, we appreciate how cathartic opening oneself up to the world can be for our souls. And for kids, yellow, because yellow got spilled into a floor look school. <laughs> And this is cool, they actually had a contest and a couple of eight-year-olds have family in Australia and made this wildfire design. Hits home for us because we're having wildfires here in Colorado. We're going to need to up Wally's game. This was created by a three-year-old. She made the fish because it's fun. The favorite part is the bubble because it's a snowflake. Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Science Fair? What? No exhibit would be complete without a swag store. You get Legos, books on Lego architecture, ideas, and the official art of the brick. And on the way out, be sure to grab your challenges to try at home. Your little paper leaflets. Alright, we're going to go check out the gems and minerals. Whoa. We're going into the cave. It's a mine cave. You're right, buddy.
What's inside? Something could be inside. What's inside, Walter? What do you think it is? Baby Yoda. It's a Baby Yoda, exactly. Well, it is a beautiful day for a picnic in the park right here by the museum, Denver City Park. So we are gonna go find a shady spot and have a lovely picnic. What a gorgeous day for a picnic in the park. And now we're gonna go do dogs! A science tail. Don't wanna let the dogs out. Hey Wally. Who let the dogs out? Dogs are social too. What? DNA. We can tell what it is. Huh. Go pet the cat. Go pet the cat. Good job. Go turn the door knob. Good job. Yeah, but. but the real question is, have our dogs trained us? The science of cuteness. Which puppy's cuter? Which puppy's cuter? I thought the question was just which was cuter, babies or puppies? I think puppies. That's kind of cool. Shows you dog vision and human vision. Whiskers are super sensitive. They detect the air and movement. Whoa, those are some big whiskers. All right, here we go. Are you faster than a chihuahua? Run as fast as you can, go. Whoa, nine miles an hour. Well, at least at least you're faster than a shizu and a pug, but not faster than a Pomeranian. No. You gotta be 15. Can you run even faster? Go! 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 There's a good speed out of Molly. What's this dog trying to tell you? What do you think he's saying? I'm nervous, I'm playing, or go away. You are right too. Play barbs are fast, high pitch sounds, and signal excitement. This is kind of funny. People use different words to describe a dog bark in all sorts of different languages. So in English, we say oof, oof. But in like Albanian, they say ham ham. Hindi bow bow. I like Dutch. Laf, laf. Look at that! Wally and Pinky were in the museum. That was so cool, dude. And of course, Wally had to show Molly his favorite thing. The mommy. She was in her 30s when she died. Mm -hmm. And the ghost will follow you home. <laughs> and a museum hack, come all the way through the exhibits to the atrium on the other side, and you find the restrooms that are rarely used. And you have a lovely view while you wait for your family to use the restroom. Well, we just finished at the museum, and since the zoo is right next door, we figured we'd bop in for a little bit before dinner. It's a beautiful late summer day, Perfect day to go to the Denver Zoo. Look at this guy just hanging out. He has crossed over that dangerous line between chilling and napping. And Wally requested that Molly pull the wagon. 
And of course, Wally had to show Molly his favorite thing. What is this, buddy? A train. A train. And I don't even know no. So much coronavirus. Pretty soon we could shoot an episode of Abandoned. So what's interesting is they have these barriers in place to protect the health of the animals from COVID-19. They don't want us getting too close to the primates because they primates could possibly get COVID-19 from a human. Good job, guys. And there's the snake. Looks like they're getting ready for zoo lights. Happens right around the holiday times, but obviously taking advantage of the quiet days here at the zoo. Quiet days and nice weather to get all their lights up. Yep. Mm. Oh. Get it? All right. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I would say definitely on a Friday and probably Saturday and Sunday uh, weekend, it's much busier at the Denver Zoo. So if you want a less busy time, I would recommend coming during the week, maybe an early morning slot. Because uh, this last of the day, Friday afternoon, it was busy in there, guys. Probably about the busiest, I, I guaranteed fully, the busiest we've ever seen it. And, you know, at times it was really difficult to maintain social distance, both with people who aren't maintaining social distance and just because of how many people are packed in one space moving the same direction. So, um... You know, just keep that in mind, you know, your comfort level when you choose to come to the Denver Zoo. Well, it's been a long time since we've been here at Steuben's. I'm going to try their outdoor patio seating for dinner. Molly's excited about the milkshake flight, or the milk flight. I am. Wait here for a good time. These guys ordered a milk flight. Going in right away, Wally. <laughs> Irene was just very insightful and said it's Neapolitan milk when you drink them all together. It's way better. And yes, that is the prize from the zoo. Since we couldn't pet the stingrays today because the line was too long. We got we, rainbow ray. We got a rainbow ray to add to the collection. I almost got the Paloma, but that's what Irene got. I'm jealous because... soda, grapefruit... Yeah, I almost got that. Instead, we got the rum drink. The, the zombie. Yeah, uh, they don't do that rum here. Uh, I need you to do it. Close your... Uh, Food is here. They have the most epic kids menu. And they have this cute little veggie plate that they get. Well, I got a side of fries. Got some yummy fruit and got their grilled cheese, which is so good, because it's like all the cheeses, got Munster cheese in there and cheddar cheese, yum! I got my favorite, the Connecticut lobster roll, which is just a bunch of lobster with butter, some yummy pickles, and a mound of fries. Daddy. Gluten and dairy free pot roast. Mm, and he got a side of fries. And Molly. She went all in. She got the chicken and waffles. Look at that. That is impressive. And she cannot leave the table until it's all gone, they said. So, see if she can do it. Dessert time. 
Molly and Wally got the cookie dough donuts. Whoa. Let's see what those look like. Mmm, that looks delicious. And I went for the butterscotch pudding. Holy cow, look at that. That looks so good. I was torn between this and the orange creamsicle, but I think I went with the right choice. And Wally got a swirl ice cream with sprinkles. And it's their homemade ice cream. Is that so good, dude? Mmm. Well, that's some butterscotch pudding going in there. I really good. It tastes like um, like a butter. What? It's really, really good. And what I think is really cool, look at all that butterscotch sitting in the bottom. Mm, I can't wait for that. You have to earn your way to the reward. <laughs> Hey Wally, is your ice cream good? Hey Wally, hey Wally, did you get a nap today? Did you take a nap today? No. Do uh, you want some butterscotch pudding? <laughs> All right, place your bets now. Place your bets now. Does he fall asleep on the ride home? Place your bets now. You look so dry. Put it in the comments right now. Pause the video. Go down the comments. Put it in. Put it in. <laughs> Does he fall asleep on the ride home? Well, that was a great meal at So Steven. yummy. Definitely one of our favorite spots here in Denver. Super kid friendly, awesome patio. Super allergy friendly. Yeah. Molly, what'd you think? That was really cool yeah. and good. Well, we had a super fun Denver day. Great day at the museum, awesome time at the zoo, delicious dinner, so fun to hang out with Cousin Molly. Now it's time to head home and go to bed. Make sure, we're tired. <laughs> make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and bell icon. This is the wonderful world of Walter. And we love you just the way you are. Bye! Bye. And if you wanted any questions, those that put he would fall asleep just won their bet. <laughs> you say bye bye to Molly. Bye more. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs>